So, from this point on, I'm gonna assume that you are an experienced Blender user with solid fundamentals. Which means that I'm going to assume that you know what polys are, you know what vertices are, you know what faces are, you know what texture maps are, and I'm not gonna waste your time explaining what the hell 3D stuff is. I am assuming that you already know what you need to know, you just don't know how to translate it to ZBrush. So here we go. If you open ZBrush for the first time, you'll see something like this. If you click the ball, you'll end up right here. This is ZBrush's equivalent to the default cube start screen in Blender. So in Blender they start you with the cube, in ZBrush they start you with balls. So anytime you want to start a new project in ZBrush, just start here. Now if you're from Blender, the first thing that you're gonna notice is that you cannot zoom in and out with the middle mouse button, which is a big f***ing problem. In order to solve this, go to the link in the description and download the middle button plugin. Go to local C, program, pixel logic, your version of ZBrush, Z startup, Z plug 64, and drag the file you just downloaded inside. Close and open ZBrush. Once you're in the program, under plugins, you should see one that says middle button. Click it and make sure that enable is set to active. And now if you set it to blender mode, scrolling up and down on the wheel will zoom, middle click will pivot the camera, and hold and shift plus middle click will pan. Just the way it is in Blender. Now personally I have found that for sculpting specifically, the 3D Max controls are actually a little faster. This makes right click pivot, scrolling up and down zoom, and middle click to pan. I recommend you try it out, but whatever settings you choose, when you're done, go to preferences, config, store config, and save UI. And from now on, every time you open ZBrush, your camera controls should be saved. Hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.